Hello, welcome to this uh, Prince 2 Foundation course. My name is Tony, Tony Perks, and I'm going to be guiding you through the content material that for, for the course. A uh, little bit about myself to start with. Uh, I've been working in the uh, Prince 2 uh, General Project Management, Program Management and Agile Environment for more years than I care to remember doing a variety of things, facilitating learning events, uh, designing and developing, uh, tailored training, and also guiding, coaching, assisting people in the use of project management techniques on an international basis. So this course is Prince2 version 7 foundation. And the version 7 edition of the manual uh, was released in September 2023 and the objectives of the course are essentially here. The idea is through the foundation course you should understand that seventh edition. When I say understand it I mean the principles upon which uh, all projects are based, the practices, the aspects of project management which we cover, and the processes, the step-by-step -step activities, which guide people through the uh, through the uh, through the the, the 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 project, and the terminology used. What we also want to do is to prepare you for the Prince Two Foundation examination. Now, I say prepare you for because the way in which uh, the uh, the environment is structured is NRC run the training, so we are doing the training uh, and provide all the learning, and, but the exams are run independently of the training. They are administered and proctored by the examination institute who are called PeopleCert. So we will arrange for you to receive an examination voucher, which you should redeem as soon as you can, because it opens up access to a lot of people's uh, training and support uh, in, in information. You don't have to schedule the exam straight away. You can schedule the exam to suit your own circumstances and your own learning style. The vouchers are valid for 12 months. So you've got plenty of time in which to prepare for the examination, but you really should redeem the voucher as soon as possible because it means that you then have access to a lot of information from PeopleCert. So what will you have access to? Well, firstly, the quick reference guide. This is a very useful and simple overview of the basic uh, concepts, terminology, and structure of Prince2. Once you redeem your voucher, you'll also have access to this. This is a learner workbook. It includes uh, all the core information that we cover in the course in terms of slides plus additional information and a number of quizzes, activities, um, uh, learning aspects that uh, you will find very useful. And this will help you greatly and as I say it opens up to you once you redeem your voucher with PeopleSuit. The other thing and this is uh, the crucial information really is you will have access to the Prince2 official ebook. Now, this is uh, all available to you from once you redeem your voucher. Uh, this is the, the, uh, the basis for everything that we do. This is the manual. Um, you can't use it in the examination, but if you move on to practitioner, you can use this manual in the practitioner exam. So you need, to, uh, you need to make sure you uh, access this as soon as, you po as possible and start to come to terms with it, start to understand the way in which it's structured uh, and so on. Everything that's in print is in this manual. Um, from PeopleCert you will get it in a digital basis. Of course you can also buy it as a hard copy if you wish. Just introducing the foundation exam. The foundation examination, when you're ready to sit it, is a test of knowledge 
rather than of competency. There's no application of the method. We leave that uh, to the practitioner course. This one wants to test that you understand, if you like, Prince II theoretically. And the way they do it is kind of like playing who wants to be a millionaire uh, in that. Um, but the prizes aren't so great and you can't phone a friend, obviously. Uh, but the way they do it, they give you a series of questions and for each question, there are four options presented to you. And only one is right. Only one is right. Yeah. And they're all facts based from the manual. And I also think it's a little bit more like who wants to be a millionaire in that whenever I've seen that program, when the candidate goes 50-50, there are generally two useful ones left. They usually throw away the silly ones and there are two left. And I think there's an element of that about it. So, you know, of the four, not always, but invariably you can discard two fairly quickly and maybe you've got a 50-50 chance with the rest. So, <clears throat> let me just get a little bit more detail on that. The foundation examination. You take it online at a time to suit yourself. So when you redeem your voucher, you don't have to schedule your exam at that point. Redeeming the voucher opens up uh, the support materials to you. You can schedule the exam at a time and a date to suit yourself. As I say, the voucher lasts for 12 months. They are administered and proctored, so invigidated, by PeopleCert. People certs are the examination body and they run the exams for you. So you would take the exam online. Uh, you would need to um, uh, make sure you've got a, uh, an environment which is suitable for taking an exam. So you need to be in a room on your own. We'll give you advice on that. We'll send you advice on that preceding the, 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 uh, the exam. And uh, you'll need to provide some photo ID. So it's proctored by people cert. And uh, you get, it's a one hour exam. It's a one hour exam. And here's, this is an important thing, it's closed book. You aren't allowed to use any reference material because it's essentially a fundamental uh, qualification. Now in that one hour, you will be confronted by 60 questions. And the pass mark is 60% to pass. So what you need to get is 36 out of the 60. So 36 is as good as 60. 35 is um, as uh, disappointing as zero, I'm afraid. And one of the benefits of doing online examinations is that you get your results pretty much immediately once you submit your, uh, your answers. Now, people often worry about the number of questions in the time. Uh, I think the, the timing is fair, but you don't want to get stuck on a difficult one, early doors. So I always suggest, but of course I can't mandate, that the, way to, the best way to do this is to get the critical mass out of the way. I would say of the 60, a good proportion of them are on the surface, are fairly obvious, but they do throw you occasional curveballs. So I would suggest get the critical mass out of the way. You can flag questions to return to. So get those done, go back to the ones you flagged and do this, take the same approach. Again, leaving them behind if you're still not sure. And then go back and so on. And towards, you'll see the clock, timer run, uh, ticking down, so to speak, as you do the examination. If you get to the last few moments and you've still got some you haven't answered, please just guess. Don't leave any questions unanswered. There are no negative marks. There are no deductions. Please just guess. Um, and that's the best way of doing it. A couple of things to watch out for in the examination. Um, they'll all be labeled A, B, C and D. 
the algorithm that they use to select the right answer takes no account of whether they're A, B, C or D. So don't worry about patterns. Just because the last three were A doesn't mean the next one won't be A. Just because the last three were C doesn't mean the next one will be C. It tends to spook some people, but ignore it. It doesn't matter. The other thing is you can change your mind as many times as you wish. So you're able to go back. But I would warn against second guessing yourself in the last uh, parts of the exam. Uh, I do think that people have a tendency to change, to doubt themselves and to change right answers to wrong answers as the clock is ticking down. Uh, obviously your call, I do tend to find that your initial response is probably the right answer. But if you do find yourself second guessing, then I would, I would submit your answers early. Make sure obviously you've answered all the questions, but close down and uh, you get your results within a couple of moments. And it will give you the people cert will give you some feedback, not only on your score, but on which areas you were strong in. Um, e e e this examination has a timestamp of three years. So what happens at the end of the exam if you've been successful, then that 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 certificate will expire in three years. You either, if you wish to keep the qualification current, you either need to reset the examination or you can get uh, continuous professional development points by joining the Prince2 community, uh, which you will be invited to by people soon. So that's an introduction to the objectives, uh, an introduction to the learning materials, uh, the quick reference guide, the learner workbook, and particularly the, the manual, and uh, also introduce the examination. In the next module, we'll be talking more about the manual and about the structure of, uh, uh, of Prince2.